Hello world, hola mundo, hello mom. We are here today taking a cappuccino in Philadelphia with Rob Kelly from uh, Athlon Medical, who has an important approach uh, to the treatment of Ebola virus infection. In particular, they designed with the contribution of many experts, a new possible device that may lower the concentration of viral particles in the blood of patients. So Rob, what is the status of this uh, technology? Well, Claudio, we, uh, we make this device, it's called a hemopurifier, and it's based upon a plasma filter, which we source from a company in Italy. And to this plasma filter, we fill in a special affinity resin in the extra capillary spaces, that is to say, outside of the fibers. And the uh, nature of this affinity resin is that it's designed to specifically adhere to glycoproteins that are universally located on the outside envelope of viruses. In fact, almost all of the known human pathogenic viruses have this same signature glycoprotein that's high in mannose, and we have a uh, molecule on our resin called a lectin that specifically binds to mannose. So as the blood enters the plasma filter, the plasma comes through the membrane at the blood inlet area where the pressure is higher. It then contacts the affinity resin where the viruses are captured. But because of the internal forward-backward filtration that you so elegantly described many years ago, with the blood pressure being lower on the outlet end, the plasma recombines with the blood and is returned to the patient but without the viruses. Very good. Interesting. So the, uh, did you do some in vitro experiments? Yes, we did, actually. We uh, have, for many years now, since about 2005, done many different experiments with various viruses, including, in particular, most uh, recently of, of importance, is Ebola. So we hired the CDC, who has a VSL-4 lab, bio, that's a biological safety lab for the highest category of pathogen, and also uh, the United States Army facility at Fort Detrick, Maryland, that also has a VSL-4 facility. Uh, at CDC, they use cell culture uh, super uh, with Ebola, passed it through our device, and uh, described how we removed uh, most of the virus within about four to five hours. We had similar results at the Samrid facility in Maryland, where they used infected monkey blood uh, to pass through the device and also established that Ebola was captured very effectively. Do we have any experience in vivo in humans? Very recently, within the last month, we were contacted by the University of Frankfurt hospital system who had recently um, been delivered a patient from Sierra Leone, uh, a Ugandan uh, pediatrician who had, been con who had been infected with Ebola. And uh, thanks to the uh, connection that you make between our company and that hospital system, uh, we were approved by the German version of uh, their medical regulatory agency uh, to use this in an emergency application. And we treated this patient for one six hour treatment. And we will be hearing uh, in a presentation from the chief of nephrology at that hospital uh, the results of this clinical work. But what I can tell you is the patient was in very, very bad shape, multiple organ failure, comatose, uh, prior to uh, our involvement. And he looks to be on the road to full recovery at this point. So this is fantastic because uh, beside any possible type of drug, we are actually providing a kind of an alternative therapy or a complementary therapy for the Ebola virus infection. And especially, I suppose, this would be very effective if we can treat the patient in the very first hours of the contact because there is a proportion between the number of viral particles that are circulating in blood and the outcome of the patient and the severity of the infection. So by lowering this concentration, there is a possibility probably to lead to a different interaction with the immune system and have the possibility for survival. That's absolutely correct. We envision this being used uh, as an adjunct to any antiviral therapy that may be available but also, if a patient is requiring renal replacement therapy, it's very easy to put our device in the same extracorporeal circuit upstream of the hemofilter. Absolutely. There's no need to make any connections to the plasma ports, so it's a, it's a very easy add-on to that procedure. 
So this is a fantastic news, very interesting. Many experts have contributed to this development. The company is pushing forward the idea and possibly we will have also in Italy or in other countries availability uh, of these devices provided that the Ministry of Health and the regulatory agencies will approve at least for compassionate use or yes. whatever it is. So in the future you will hear more. For today, thank you for joining uh, Cappuccino today and have a nice day. Excellent. Excellent.